A reactor at Exelon's Byron nuclear generating station shut down today after losing power. Tonight, authorities say there is no danger. Backup generators kicked in immediately when the reactor shut down and those generators began cooling the plant. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, Exelon engineers are trying to figure out what caused the shutdown. The Byron nuclear facility is about 95 miles west of Chicago. It's in Ogle County. ABC 7 Sarah Schulte is joining us live from Byron with the latest on that development story tonight. Sarah. Well, Alan, I just talked to a spokesperson from Exelon, and while investigators have been here all day trying to figure out a cause, they do, they say they are almost 100% positive that the cause is an electrical problem with an on site switch yard. And again, at no time during any of this was there any danger to employees or residents here in the area. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission defined this as an unusual event, saying it is the latest of four emergency classifications. Sure before 10:30 this morning, backup generators kicked into gear when Unit 2 shut down after losing power. Some employees did see some smoke at an on-site transformer, but there was no evidence of a fire. Regardless, the fire department was called. The NRC is releasing steam from the plant right now to help with the cooling process, and that is the sound that you actually hear in the background here. The steam does carry very low levels of radioactivity. There are normal releases that we allow, and this is an abnormal, abnormal release, but it's still far below um, any limits that we have. It's not unusual to lose off-site power. Um, I don't know if we've had this situation before, but uh, nuclear power plants especially plan for loss of off-site power, so it's not uncommon for it to happen to plants in the country. Uh, we prepare for it all the time in a room like this with our control room simulator, so it's something we do uh, train for. Five years ago here is the last time that Byron had some problems when their power did shut down. And when Unit 2 is going to be back up again, running normally, they say is they're not too sure. They do have to fix that on-site switch problem, the electrical problem with the on-site switch problem. But again, Unit 2 will continue to run on diesel power. And again, that sound that you hear behind me is some steam that is being released. Live in Byron, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Kathy Allen, back to you. All right, sir. Thank you. We'll continue to watch that story, of course, tonight. At least. Radiation leak at an American nuclear power plant, San Onofre, 45 miles north of San Diego, California. Officials say the leak is small, but as we've seen before, sometimes nuclear plants have changed the story after an accident. And look at this. Seven million Americans live within 50 miles of San Onofre. So ABC's David Wright traveled there to investigate what the real risks are. David. Good evening, Diane. Here's what we know. A very small amount of radiation apparently leaked inside the far dome over there. Uh, barely measurable, quote, very, very low levels. That's the quote from a spokesman for the Re Nuclear Regulatory Commission. However, the concerns were high enough that the plant is now closed. Officials say the radiation leak likely occurred in the steam generator tubes of San Onofre's reactor number three. No danger to the public, no danger to our workers. Did any radiation leak out? If there was any leakage at all, it would have been so minor. That steam system, which is supposed to be shielded from any exposure to radiation, was replaced in December 2010. So the question is, why did those parts fail now? It could be a mechanical issue due to uh, new equipment. There was also a possibility that the equipment was defective and that this is a harbinger of, of more problems. San Onofre is one of dozens of U.S. reactors facing new scrutiny after Japan's nuclear crisis, right on the coast in the heart of America's earthquake country, just next door to the Marine Corps' West Coast hub, Camp Pendleton. We came here the day the Fukushima Daiichi plant in Japan melted down. Plant officials were eager to reassure the public the same thing could not happen here. Is this plant safe? Well, absolutely, this plant is safe. After Japan, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission updated its seismic model and in a report issued just yesterday found that 96 reactors in the central and southern U.S. are in regions at higher risk of a quake than previously thought. Major metropolitan areas are uncomfortably close to major nuclear power plants. Indian Point, just outside New York City, 20 million people live in a 50-mile radius. Dresden, just 50 miles from the heavily populated suburbs of Chicago. And if we don't make them shut it down, it's going to be too late. 
we can't wait for the NRC. We can't wait for the government. Now, it is important to underscore it is not clear that this event had anything to do with earthquakes. It's likely just faulty equipment. However, after what happened in Japan, people are understandably concerned, Diane.